Hey church, get in here to you, talk to you today, just brief. I'm gonna take about five minutes of your time. At least I'll try to stick to five minutes of your time. First of all, praise God, Sunday was awesome. This is where it takes place as far as putting everything to, together and videotaping the worship service and shooting it live stream to you each Sunday. Uh, this is from the Magnolia campus. We have a similar setup at the spring campus. Our technicians are back here putting the service and the overheads and the PowerPoints and all the other stuff that goes along with it, plus the soundboard for engineering our sound. So it's getting better every week. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we've, we've improved on so many different levels. Thank the Lord that we had the equipment and we were prepared. You know, Believer's Fellowship has really been a blessed church. And uh, thank God because we have so many good people who make it a good church. Church is people. We can talk about the buildings. But it's made up of people who love the Lord. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know, you know, just for having a vision to be ready in, in every situation. We didn't have to scramble last second and put things together. Praise God, uh, our, our, our church is a church with a vision. We've been preaching be ready for the days that we're in for a long time. It's good to get here and see that we are ready. Or not good to see bad times, but it's good to know that we're ready in those times. So I just a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, only a couple more live stream services. We do them all the time, before and, and after COVID, but as far as not coming to the building, only a couple of services like that. The intention of the elders and the leadership of our church and meeting with pastors uh, locally, community-wide, statewide, reviewing protocols and safety standards and everything, we'll be ready to start coming back together on the 24th of this month. So make plans. Oh, we're going to prepare a video for you in a couple weeks with uh, me, uh, myself, and the two campus pastors and maybe the children's director who oversees both ministries for our children's teams at both campuses. And we'll talk about what, what that will look like, what we'll be doing, when we'll start different things, different aspects. First services will be family ministries, those, those first few weeks of, of meeting together. You'll come in and set together as families. But I'll deal more with that a little bit later. do want to remind you that Sunday is Mother's Day. All right, so uh, call your mom. Love on your mom. If your mom's still with you, you better praise the Lord and, and, and take the time you have to, to be with her. Uh, so. Get them online with us. And now Sunday, just it's not going to be for the, the sermon. It's not going to be for the week of heart. We're, we're preaching a message, two-part series, second part Sunday, on how to stay strong. And so uh, it gets a little, uh, it's out of Hebrews, and Hebrews has some pretty strong passages about, you know, commitment and staying true. So we're going to be talking about some of those passages. So it's not necessarily a Mother's Day message, but coming in June, when everybody's getting back together, obviously, and church is getting back closer to normal, uh, on Father's Day, we're going to do a, a kind of a dual dedication to moms and dads. We'll have gifts for mothers and gifts for dads, and I want you to come be a part of that service. But uh, So this Sunday is online, and again, for the next Sunday after that, until the 24th when we come back together uh, in the 9 o'clock service at, at the Magnolia, and regular 1045 service at Spring. So get ready for that. Uh, one thing, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the exposure of our live stream grows every week. I think I just looked at it a while ago. Uh, we had 1,200 engagements for our Sunday services, uh, for, and, and that's awesome. Uh, we had about, uh, let me see, I wrote it down here, get my good eyes on. We had 1,200 engagements. We had 775 reached views, uh, 24 shares. That means we reached up, you know, uh, we're just looking at statistics and, and time online. It looks like we might have engaged several hundred people for the service, the whole service. A lot of people come in and come out, obviously, just checking it out. But... Uh, a good majority of folks, you know, they were online for the whole service. So continue to share that. We had 24 shares uh, on this particular Sunday. I'd like to see us all, you know, when you get online Sunday morning, the first thing you do is just share it with your folks, you know, uh, spread that testimony, get the word of God out to other people. They'll be blessed by it. Some folks you think might be offended by it. Hey, some are always going to be offended at the gospel. Jesus said it was that way, but we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. So I want to encourage you this Sunday. Be sure, mark it down. We'll remind you Sunday morning as we come on air uh, to, to share. Uh, starting about five minutes before the service, there'll be a few testimonies. If you want to tune a little early, come on in. There's usually a five-minute countdown. During that countdown, we plan to have some testimonies. So listen for those as well. But uh, we'll continue with how to trust God. We've got a lot of stuff we've been working on catching up on our YouTube channel for uploading. And uh, you go to uh, BF Church Video is, the, is how you get there. Go to YouTube, do a search for, for our channel, BF Church Video. And under that, you'll see a lot of sermons, hundreds of sermons for the last, since 2011, 
we've been uploading sermons there. It's a lot of questions about prophecy. There's two different sermons there, a series of sermons. You'll see them about the one called Future Tense. In other words, is, this really the, is Jesus really coming soon? Uh, those are you'll, they're pretty obvious titles. So if you want to share those and pass those out among friends and, and share the link with those, please do so. Just know, I love you. I'm looking forward to Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to our moms. So y'all be sure and let them know you love them as well. God bless you and I'll talk to you later. Amen.